Hello, welcome to Android Java Programming. In this tutorial, we are going to create an app using button and button click handler. We are going to code an app for a game of dice rolling. Now let's get started. I have created an Android application project called Dice Game. We are looking at the layout and activity main.xml file. In the graphic design, you can see by default, it's a UI with a text view saying hello world. We don't actually need that. You can click, select it, and press delete, so it's gone. Now next, we want to add a large text to show the title of our game. So from the palette, go to widget and select large text and drag and drop on your layout. Currently, it's, it displays large text. If we double click, we can just modify the text right here. Let's say this is welcome to dice rolling game. This is our welcome message. And the ID text view, OK. Click outside the box and uh, the change is made. Next, we want to add a button. So from widgets, select a button, drag and drop on your UI, and let's double click the button. So we can change the text into roll the dice. And ID, we want to give it the ID called button roll, btn roll. And click outside the dialog box. And there we go, roll the dice. Plus, we want to add one more component, also a large text view. And this is used to display the result of your dice rolling. Currently, it says large text. So let's change it and just remove the text so it will display an empty string. The ID is text view 2. Let's change it into TV result. All right. There we go. So this is the UI part. If you click on the text the tab, we can look at the XML. There is the relative layout as the container. And inside, we have three components. We have a text view displaying the welcome message. Welcome message. Let's fix it. And we have a button, roll the dice, with the ID button roll. We have a text view to display the result with the ID TV result. By default, it's just an empty string. All right. Now let's go back to our Java code. Go to your app, Java. Go to your package and find mainActivity.java file. First thing we want to create is reference objects to our layout components. So inside your main activity class and outside any other methods, we want to create reference object. Private button button row. And we want to create a private text view object. TV result. And make sure to import Android widget dot button and android widget dot text view. All right, now let's go to the onCreate method. So first, let's get access to the button and text view component. In order to do that, we need to find the view by ID. And let's first find our button component. And there we go, on the suggested list, select a button row. Okay, then we can assign this return object to button row. However, we want to cast the return object from find view by ID to a button type. There we go. And then do the same thing for TV result. R.id.text result. All right. Now let's add 
the button click handler. To do that, we need to set on click listener for button row. All right, and inside the parenthesis, let's add new view dot on click listener, and system automatically generates. The method stop of onclick method for you. If it doesn't, you can just right click inside the curly braces and go to generate. And you can click override methods. And from there, you can select the onclick method. All right, so let's go inside the onclick method. What we want to do is whenever the button is clicked, we want to generate a random integer number between 1 and 6 as the result of the dice rolling, and we want to display on the text view. In order to create a random number, we need access to a class called random. So let's create random object called rand equals to new random. All right, let's import rand. From java.util.random. Press Alt Enter and this works for the Windows user. And we need to create an integer variable called result. Use it to store the generated random number. And we are going to call a method called next int. It can take an integer to specify the range. All right, we can put integer 6. What this does is it will return an integer number between 0 and 5. So in order to convert to dice rolling result, which is from 1 to 6, we just need to add 1 to it. And then we want to display it in our text view, TV result. TV result dot set text. The set text method is expecting a string. In order to convert the integer to a string, we can pass it to string dot value of method. All right, let's go over the program one more time. So inside the main activity class, we created reference objects to our button and to our text view, and we use the find view by ID to get access to our layout component. Then we added the onclick listener for the button row. Whenever the button is clicked, it creates a random number between 1 and 6 and display on the text view. Now let's save the change and run our code. All right, it prompts us to choose a device, click Use same device, click OK. All right, our game is up and running. Welcome to dice rolling game. Roll the dice. Let's click the button. Three. Click again. Four. And again, one. So it generates a random integer between one and six. And that works. Thank you.